So at Bonneville, you've got this uh, impediment to, to fish migration. They have to find the fish, uh, get there uh, at the dam, they've got to find these fish ladder entrances. And so consequently, you get a concentration of fish uh, at the base of the dam, and it makes them highly vulnerable to the predation by sea lions and it makes it a great feeding spot for sea lions. So what our goal is is to move those sea lions out of that area and downstream where it's a more of a fair chase for them uh, to capture the, the fish if they can get them and, and try and make it uh, a little bit more difficult. It's a pretty new phenomenon. Um, it started around 2000. We started seeing sea lions at Bonneville Dam. Prior to that, um, we would see maybe a sea lion every second or third year. There might be one that would show up for a few days and leave. But after about 2000, we started getting a, a pretty big influx of sea lions. And by that, I mean there would be 30, 40, 50. Now we've had in the worst years, which were you know a year or so ago, there might be over a hundred in a day, 120 in a day that are up here feeding. We have a, a, a sea lion or a group of sea lions. We will haze the sea lions. Our, we have observers on a boat, we have a shooter on a boat, and once an observer sees a sea lion, they give us a direction, we'll point it. We want to get above the sea lion so we're not hazing the sea lion towards the dam. So we will maneuver the boat and get above it and then fire a cracker shell and haze it away from the dam downriver. Uh, we average probably eight pushes, what we call a push, and that's haze, eight hazing efforts away from the dam. So an, a hazing effort can average 10, 15 minutes to up to 45 minutes to an hour. So it just depends on how far we can push that animal and how how the animal responds to it. If, if he's hesitant, we will chase him around for a while. Now it's too dug. I said, this is my corner office. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep.